Transport phenomena in Biosystem Module 4, Shell Momentum Balances, Segment 3, Flow of a Falling Film. With me, Yusuf, from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about the module overview and shell momentum balances. In this segment, we will discuss about flow of a falling film. Let's consider the flow of a liquid down an inclined flat plate of length L and with W as shown in the figure. Such films have been studied in connection with wetted wall towers, evaporation and gas absorption experiments, as well as applications of coatings. Let's consider the viscosity and density of the fluid to be constant. We assume that disturbance at the edges of the system is negligible, especially when W and L are large compared to the film thickness. For small flow rates, we expect that the viscous force will prevent continued acceleration of the liquid down the wall so that Vz will become independent of Z in a short distance down the plate. Therefore, it seems reasonable to postulate that Vz equals to Vz as a function of x, Vx equals to 0 and Vy equals to 0. From table V1, it is seen that the only non-vanishing components of tau are then tau xz equals to tau zx equals to minus mu dvz per dx. We now select as the system a thin shell perpendicular to the x direction as shown in the figure. Then we set up a z momentum balance over this shell, which is a region of thickness delta x bounded by the planes z equal to 0 and z equals to L and extending a distance w in the y direction. The various contributions to the momentum balance are then obtained with the help of the quantities in the z component columns of tables in module 3. By using the components of the combined momentum flux tensor, Phi defined in the previous segment, we can include all the possible mechanisms for momentum transport at once, as shown in equation 4.2 until equation 4.6. By using the quantities Phi xz and Phi zz, the z momentum is being transported by all mechanisms convective and molecular. Note that the in and out direction is in the direction of the positive x and z axis. Substituting the terms in equation 4.2 until equation 4.6 into the z momentum balance of equation 4.1 results in equation 4.7. When this equation is divided by Lw delta x and the limit is taken as x approaches 0, we will get equation 4.8. The first term on the left side is exactly the definition of the derivative phi xz with respect to x. Therefore, equation 4.8 becomes equation 4.9. The components for phi xz and phi zz are shown in equation 4.10. In accordance with the postulate, as shown in the left, Several terms can be cancelled and tau xz depends only on x. Hence, equation 4.9 can be simplified to equation 4.11. Equation 4.11 is the differential equation for the momentum flux tau xz. It may be integrated to yield equation 4.12. The constant of integration may be evaluated by using the boundary conditions at the gas-liquid interface which results to equation 4.13. Substituting Newton's law of viscosity into the left side of equation 4.13 results of equation 4.14, which is the differential equation for the velocity distribution. It can be integrated to give equation 4.15. The constant of integration is evaluated by using the no-slip boundary condition at the solid surface and finally the velocity distribution can be determined from equation 416 and the results are shown in the right figure.
Once the velocity distribution is known, a number of quantities can be calculated. First, the maximum velocity Vz max is clearly the velocity at x equals to 0, which can be expressed by equation 417. Second, the average velocity of a cross section of the film is obtained as shown in equation 418. Third, the mass flow rate of flow W is obtained from the average velocity or by integration of the velocity distribution as shown in equation 419. Fourth, the film thickness may be given in terms of the average velocity or the mass flow rate of flow as shown in equation 420. Last but not least, the force F of the fluid on the solid surface is obtained by integrating the shear stress over the fluid solid interface as shown in equation 421. For the next segment, we will discuss about flow through a circular tube. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.